Good day, grade 10. In this lesson, we're going to be looking at electrolytes and conductivity. So what is an electrolyte? An electrolyte is a solution that conducts an electric current due to the presence of free ions. It is very, very, very important that you realize that it is not the electrons that flow through the liquid. It's actually free ions. So if we had to do this, we'd have the electrons traveling, conventional current, from the positive through a resistor, through an ammeter, and over here through the carbon rod. From here to here, electricity is transferred, but not due to electrons, but due to free ions. And you'll learn more about that in grade 11 and 12. Then it carries up, and there the electrons are going to go in the outside circuit. So electrolyte is a solution that conducts electric current due to the presence of free ions. So let's look at a little video. We know from various lines of experimental evidence that solid sodium chloride consists of an ordered three-dimensional array of sodium and chloride ions. Solid sodium chloride is not a conductor of electricity. The ions of the ionic lattice are held in place by the strong ionic interactions in the solid and therefore are not free to move under the influence of the electric field. When sodium chloride is dissolved in water, it forms a solution of separated sodium and chloride ions. The presence of ions in the solution is responsible for the fact that the solution is a conductor of electricity. Substances such as sodium chloride that exist in aqueous solution entirely or nearly entirely as ions are called strong electrolytes. By contrast, an aqueous solution of a non-electrolyte, such as sugar, does not conduct electricity. Right. So, what did we learn? We learned that conductivity is a measure of how well electricity is conducted. That makes sense. But it's dependent on two things. It's dependent on concentration and on the type of substance. Let's first look at concentration. Concentration is basically defined as the number of parts per unit volume. In other words, how many ions or atoms there are in a specific space. So the more ions in the electrolyte, the greater the ability to conduct electric current. So if you look here, you can see that there are more ions per unit volume in the smaller container than in the larger container. So therefore, the more ions in an electrolyte, the greater the ability to conduct an electric current. Therefore, the greater the concentration, the better the electrolyte. Types of substances. Some substances, when dissolved, form ions. So the sodium chloride is highly soluble. We know this, which means it forms a high concentration of ions and conducts electricity well. Whereas sugar is also highly soluble. In fact, if you've had a little bit of a shock, people often give you some sugar water, and what it is is sugar dissolved in water. But sugar does not form ions and therefore does not conduct electricity. Therefore solubility is not a measure of conductivity. So just because something dissolves doesn't mean it's going to conduct electricity. It has to dissolve and form ions. Right, I hope that you have taken that all on board. Have a great day.